Hi, good morning. So it is an art of eating and is also the art of drinking water. Each of, the, each of our human bodies are built up of 70 to 80 billion cells and 80%, 75 to 80% of these cells live in water. They require water for metabolic activity, for a strong immunity, for weight loss, for cellular function. And the way that we drink water is extremely important to our health. Most people today with the media are showing that more water is better for health and you'll see people chugging out of bottles and plastic bottles and cups. There is an art of drinking water. Sit and sip your water slowly. When you sip your water, your water mixes with your saliva. Now your saliva is highly alkaline in nature and your stomach is acidic in nature for all the right reasons because your stomach requires a certain amount of acid to digest food. That's great, but the problem is when too much of acid is produced to digest excessive food or bad quality food. So we want saliva to get into our stomach so that the alkaline effect of saliva can stabilize excess acid in the stomach. So one way of getting that saliva from your mouth into your stomach is through the way that you drink water. When you sit and you sip your water slowly, it carries saliva from your mouth into your stomach, stabilizing your acid. Tip number two, a glass of water 15 to 30 minutes before your meal, 15 to 30 minutes after your meal, and preferably lukewarm or room temperature water. Now, if you must drink water while you're eating your meals, it should just be like a sprinkle of water into your stomach. You don't want to drink too much of water or large sips during your meal because you want to leave enough of space in your stomach for digestive activity. Also, too much of water will dilute your digestive acids, which in turn will again affect digestion. So small sips before your meal, after your meal, maybe 15 to 20 minutes later, and if you must drink during your meal, think of it as just sprinkling your stomach with a little bit of water. Drink when you're thirsty, but don't wait to get too thirsty. The human body has a defense mechanism and a warning mechanism. It tells us when we're hungry if we really listen to our body. It also tells us when we're thirsty, so we listen to our body and we drink water. Now, if you're in an air-conditioned environment, you need, to be, you need to be a little bit careful because sometimes you may not get that signal because of the air temperature that you're thirsty and you could dehydrate. So you have two other indicators. If your lips tend to get dry quickly, it could mean that you are on low levels of water <clears throat> and you need to hydrate immediately. And the second tip is <clears throat> looking at the color of your urine. When your urine is a pale white, crystal white, or a pale straw yellow, it means you have sufficient water in your body. But do note that certain med medications and certain vitamins like vitamin C can make your urine extremely dark. So use these indicators as well as listening to your body for thirst, you know, thirst signals throughout the day and drink that amount of water accordingly. When you chug water through your system, you, dr you drink it really, really quickly. Most of it just passes out of your system. What we want for good cellular metabolism and good cellular energy and activity is for that water to be absorbed into your cells. So when you sip your water slowly, you allow for it to get absorbed into your cells. When you chug it down real quick, most of it passes through your system and you get thirsty very, very quickly again. When you sip water slowly, you'll find that you don't need too much of water like you know, the conventional advice of three liters or three and a half liters or two and a half liters. It's really dependent on your lifestyle, the way you sip your water and the kind of food that you eat. When you have a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, fruits and raw vegetables are high in water content. You also get water from those mediums as well. At the same time, when you drink, water, when you drink too much of tea and coffee, these are diuretics in the body. What I mean by that is coffee acts like a diuretic. It flushes out excess water and vitamins from your body. So for every glass of water, you have to have two glasses of, for, sorry, for every glass of coffee, you have to have two glasses of water to replenish, you know, the excess water that's flushed out. Uh, a glass of water before having a bath can also help you lower your blood pressure in the body. So that's extremely important. And my favorite tip when it comes to using water to lose weight 
is to sip your water slowly like I mentioned above because when you sip it slowly you allow digestion to ease and you allow digestion to be enhanced and you allow your body to use the right amount of energy for digestion today most of our digestive systems rob energy from our body to digest all the food that we eat the excess food that we eat and especially when we eat it the wrong way so when you can minimize the energy spent on digestion and you can enhance your digestion by sipping your water slowly you can sip yourself to some amount of weight loss as well so like there's an art of eating well there is also an art of drinking water well so until next time eat smart move more sleep right breathe deep and try to make it that make it a habit today most of us including myself is used to taking a bottle and chugging in water but let's try to sit if we can and sip slowly if we if we don't have the opportunities to sit at that point stand up but sip your water slowly try to get it mixed with your saliva into your stomach and see how that bloating that flatulence that indigestion improves until next time have a good day everyone